Many rotorcraft flight manuals contain information about starting or stopping the rotor and winds. For some helicopters, this information represents an actual limitation. In others, this information may be presented as a recommendation or simply a note. But in all cases, this information should be understood and followed. The faster a rotor spins, the more centrifugal load is experienced by the blades. This force reduces the amount of flapping and flexing the blades may exhibit. But what about during startup or shutdown when the rotor is turning slowly? It's during these periods when the rotor is accelerating from a stop or decelerating to a stop, which may require additional attention by the pilot. During these transitory phases, the rotor is most vulnerable to the effects of wind. There are many variables which must be taken into consideration in the design of a helicopter. The effect of wind upon the aircraft during startup or shutdown is certainly one of them. Some designs or specific configurations may be more susceptible to the effects of wind than others. Wind may cause a blade to flap or flex down and strike another portion of the aircraft, such as the tail boom, cowling, airfoil, antenna, mast, or even the cabin itself. In fact, the blades themselves may be damaged without striking anything. It's not unusual to see the start-stop recommendations, or limits, described with azimuth positions around the aircraft with allowable wind velocities varying accordingly. It's also very important to understand that the winds referenced in the flight manual are horizontal winds. There is no measured vertical component to these winds. Wind spilling down through the rotor system from above or being driven up through the rotor system from below are not evaluated. However, you may find yourself in a situation where there is a significant vertical component to the winds. You may desire to start up or shut down on an elevated helipad with wind striking surrounding structures and being forced vertically up or down through the rotor system. Buildings or other obstructions in close proximity may cause mechanical disruption to the local winds, which may result in turbulent and or rapidly changing wind direction and velocity to include a vertical component. In such rare instances, it may not be possible to safely stop or start the rotor without risk of damage to the aircraft. Also, while we must always exercise caution when people are near the aircraft, we must be especially careful during startup and shutdown in any wind condition, whether demonstrated or not, as the blades may flap lower than normally expected. Helicopters are unique in their ability to operate in many different environments and conditions. But every possible combination of terrain and weather cannot be foreseen. We must remain vigilant to conditions which may not be specifically described in the RFM and exercise caution as may be required.